If we could put down all our blinkies and rugas If I could bring together the 60s and Ubers If I could unite disciples and vice lords And give them both something more important to fight for And if I could unite all the Harlems and Brims Then we could rise as the people and our stardom begins We Israelites, native Latinos, Negroes Garvey X and Geronimo, just a few of my heroes Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4 And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage, thy heritage that I give thee. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. Alright, Khan. Uh, go to verse 1. Read the context. Read what that, who's that talking about? Jeremiah 17, verse 1. The sins of, Jude, of Judah is written with a pen of iron. Alright, so it's talking about the Judites. Judah, right? The Israelites, okay? We have lost our identity as a nation. Alright? Because of our iniquity, because we, because we keep sinning, we kept sinning so much in our ancient time. Our ancestors were such great sinners as we were now that we completely lost our heritage and where we came from, all right? We've completely forgotten about our God, right? That, that's why stuff like this could happen to the black community, to the Hispanic native community, right? That's why we in the south side of Chicago right now. If we were banding together, as, as it is written in the laws that don't nobody want to keep, that the Christian church will tell you is evil, is against you, right? Which don't even make sense when you actually go into the laws. How is loving your brother against you? How is prostituting your daughters against you? The prostitute. They were not supposed to prostitute. Oh, okay. The Bring four out. Jeremiah 17, verse 4. And thou, and, and thou, even thyself shall discontinue from thy heritage. Our heritage was discontinued, right? Our heritage was discontinued and then picked back up by some Jewish devil, man. By some Jewish white man. And that's how you know you know that they're the, uh, the chief devils on the earth, too, because what were we just talking about? Talking about how they exploit the black community, right? How they exploit the, uh, the music, the entertainment systems, right? All, all based off of us and our downfall and our, uh, and our, uh, our calamity, kind of. So like, uh, Jeremiah 17 to 4, and thou, and, and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land, in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which... And we will serve our enemies, right? All right. So we'll serve our enemies in, in, uh, in want of all things, in food, right? Like McDonald's, right? White man owns McDonald's. Black people don't own McDonald's. Huh. All right, I'm just saying, bro. That stuff comes from our enemies, right? Huh. And we work, we work these jobs, these uh, nine to five, slave work, work like a slave all damn day, all week all year to just contribute it back to them, right? Because we don't have too much of our own. Let's keep it real, ah. right? They don't they burn down Black Wall Street. I'm just saying. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemy in the land of thy Lord's mouth. For you have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. We kindled a fire in the Most High's anger, right? That's going to burn forever. The only thing that quenches that fire is the most is the sacrifice of the Most High's uh, son, which is Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Christ, right? 
repenting under him is the only only way turning from our sins under who the world calls Christ is the only way that we're going to uplift ourselves as a people right Bring it up. definitely not uh, 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 Planned Parenthood <laughs> It's definitely not the answer. Ain't in uh, the financial system, in uh, in a fiat currency that doesn't it isn't even worth anything, really. Uh, Isaiah one three. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3 The ox knoweth his owner and the ass his master could but Israel does but Israel don't, does not know my people do, does not consider so everybody knows where they come from right God. ask a Chinese man he'll tell you he come from China ask a white man he'll tell you all the all the uh, 30 white countries that he comes from right that he conquered. <laughs> right, that he conquered, that he stole and robbed, right? A ask, a, ask a Nigerian, he'll tell you, right? Ask, a, ask any type of African Hamite, he'll tell you where they come from. But Israel don't know where they come from, right? You got some, you got some uh, Hispanic brothers and sisters that don't even know that they were Aztecs back in the day, that they were the Incas, that they were, they were these great cities, all right? Because the white man destroyed it because we broke the most high's laws, statutes and commandments, right? Tell me, name me one, one people on the earth that, that uh, doesn't, doesn't know their nationality as a collective. Crickets, right? Crickets. It's only us, the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right? That's right. That's all that's it's crazy because all these, all these so-called, all these nations that were just mentioned, right? That know, that actually know their identity, that have their identity, and actually claim something, have been a, have been feeding off of the Black, Hispanic, and Native American in America, right? Because what they do, what they do every time they come through, uh, from wherever they from, from, uh, from uh, North Korea, from, uh, from. Uh, from China, from Japan, one of these Asian countries, from uh, from Africa, from uh, Czechoslovakia. What do they do? They set up shop in the black community, right in the hoods, right, and they sell to your to our people, right. You got the Ethiopians, right, selling overpriced overpriced uh, clothes that you could get right down here at the at the uh, shop, right, for a cheap price. One. What's our one? Psalms 83, verse 1. A song or songs of... What is it? Of... Oh, acid. acid. Keep not thy... Keep not thy silence, O God. Hold not thy peace. And be not still, O God. So don't hold your peace against these people, right? Don't hold these, hold your peace. Don't be peaceful with these people that have abused us, that have abused the black Hispanic, the minds of the black Hispanic and Native American, right? Don't, don't be soft with them. Let them have it full force, right? Go ahead. For lo, thy enemies make a tremor, and they, and they, and they that hate thee have lifted up the, the head. Right, the enemies make a tumult, right? A tumult, a, a tumult is, uh, is, is like a confederacy. There, it's a conference, right? Like NATO. They got, they got, uh, the Western Conference, right? They got the, uh, Congress. That's, that's a tumult that the, our enemies have raised against us, right? Psalms 83, uh, chapter 2, verse 2, I'm sorry, slide. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they, ha 
and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They that hate thee hate us have lifted up the head against us, right? Huh. They formed they formed uh, a whole democracy uh, with each other, right? To to thrive off of the downfall of the black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, right? Of the Israelites, as the Bible speak of. That's right. Go ahead. Chapter 3, verse 2. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They've taken crafty counsel against our people. Abortion is a crafty counsel that was against our people, right? right. Started by uh, Margaret Singer. Yeah. Uh, the Planned Parenthood movement, right? Literally said to the effect of uh, this abortion is basically to to kill all black and Hispanics like weeds, right? We go, we grow on like weeds. They need to cut us off, right? So that we, so that the uh, the white man could be the majority on the face of America, right? Because otherwise, we we would outrun them easily, right? In a day. And, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Come, let us cut them off from being a nation. Let us cut them off from their identity. Let us cut them off from their, uh, from their uh, culture, right? Let us make them forget who they are. That they're God's chosen people, right? The Israelites. Go ahead. That the, that the name of Israel may be no longer, no more in remembrance. So that Israel will be no more in remembrance, right? So again, who, who on the earth has lost their identity? Who on the earth doesn't know who they are, right? Identifying as a color. Identifying as two continents. Right? Is it not us, the black people of America, right? Hispanics think they property of his, uh, Hispanic. Uh, uh, Hispanic, Hispanic, Hispanic means, uh, Spain. yeah, owned by Spain, a Spanish slave, right? Joel chapter two, verse three. A, a fire, the de devour before. Uh, Joel three, two and three. Joel two, chapter three. Three, three chapter, chapter three, verse two. Okay, so I, Joel chapter three, verse. Two, I will also gather all. I'm sorry, I will also gather all nations, and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, and I will be with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. All right. So he's going to bring all these nations down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Right. This is talking about the end time. This is end time prophecy. Okay. He's going to bring all nations down to the valley of Jehoshaphat for what? Why? And and of Saki, and will be with them. Therefore, my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations in part of my land. Right, so that other nations have scattered Israel among all nations, right? Among everywhere in the world, right? And he said he was going to plead with all the nations in the Valley of Jehoshaphat, right? He's not pleading with, with words. He's not going to meet you as a man, right? He's going to meet you with a sword and destruction, all right? with the slaughter, with with genocide, all right? You thought the Holocaust was bad, all right? Just wait, just wait and see, all right? Day of the Lord coming soon. And they, chapter, verse three, and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy for a harem, a harlot. So they've cast lots for our people, given a boy for a, for a harlot, right? What was they using uh, our boys for our our uh our young men for in slavery right there was there was uh reproducing with us right yeah buck breaking yeah buck breaking too right there was they would uh 
take a strong black man and hook him up with all these different sisters, right? To just make more slaves, to keep mass producing slaves, right? Even in some instances would have them sleep with their mothers, right? Having, having them do all types of wicked, uh, debaucherous type of stuff, man. And so, and so a girl for wine that they might drink. And sold a girl for wine, right? They literally did that. In slavery, it's it's in the history of our people, man. All it's crazy how all all the history of the Israelites would match up perfectly with the history of Black Hispanic Native Americans. Ain't that crazy? But we're not the people of this book. It's, it's, y- y'all crazy. Y'all y'all crazy niggas on the street, man. Y'all need to get a job, right? Like, like we don't have jobs. Right, <laughs> right. <coughs> Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, with which I commanded thee this day. So if you don't listen to the Most High God and what he wants you to do, right? If this, I want to make this clear. This is talking to black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Right? This is talking to the Israelites of the Bible. Alright? If if we didn't hearken unto the word, if we didn't listen to the word of the Most High, right? If we didn't listen to these niggas on the street corners telling us what the hell to do and how to live our lives according to the Bible, if we didn't listen to the word of God, go ahead. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That all these curses was going to come upon us and overtake us. Curse shall there be in the city. Curse shall there be in the field. Schlock, that's all that. So we're going to be cursed throughout all our cities, throughout the fields, right? If you go, if you go from city, from state to state, from city to city, all you're going to see is the same thing. Chicago is just like Birmingham, right? Birmingham is just like uh, 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 Baltimore, right? Baltimore is just like New York. Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans destroyed. That's all there is, destruction, desolation, right? Hoods look exactly the same, exactly the same layout, you know? Amos, chapter three, verse one. Read this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Listen to this, all right? Listen to this, black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Listen to this, you Israelites, you Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible. Read. Oh, uh, Saki, uh, O children of Israel, this, the whole, oh, uh, Saki. Read, the, read this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. So God's only known the Israelites of all the families of the earth. Ever since ever since Egypt, right? Ever since he took the took the Israelites out of captivity the first time. He's only known the Israelites of all the families of the earth, right? Brothers brothers talk about act like Act like every every nation has a bit of truth. Every nation has has a bit of God. If I could if I could get all the all the uh, religions in the world and just combine them, then we'll have the truth, right? But now he only revealed it to the Israelites, right? He only revealed it to you. While y'all trying to save all the other nations, right? While y'all trying to save the white man, while y'all trying to save the African, y'all trying to save the uh, the Asian man, the Chinese man. You, y'all are the only ones that got it. Y'all don't realize, man. The Most High is only dealing with y'all. All right, y'all the greatest people on the face of the planet Earth. Okay. Let that be known. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. And that's why He punished us for our iniquities, right? Right, because. Uh, 
No, the Chinese man. The uh, the Chinese man, the, uh, the, the Moabite in the Bible. And the Japanese man, the Ammonite in the Bible. Right? They got... They're basically products of incest, right? So they they don't get punished for their iniquities, like like on the level that we we are, right? They they be wailing on the sisters that they assume to be stealing from their shop. They don't get punished for that. Not yet. Yeah, not not yet. The shop the shop is still standing, right? It didn't shut down or nothing. They're still they're still good. They're still thriving. In much better position than y'all. Alright, I'm just saying. Right? These other nations don't get don't get punished for their iniquities. Alright? How how long did uh did uh what's his name? Zimmerman? Mark Zimmerman? How long did he spend in prison? Right? when did when did he get the death penalty? Right. That nigga outside an autograph. Bro. Right, right. Outside an audit. Right, at, out out selling the gun that he killed him with, that he killed uh, Trayvon Martin with. Right. He didn't get punished for his iniquities. Where did they get punished for their iniquities, man? Where where why are white people on top of they were punished for their iniquities? If God if God was really dealing with them, why are they on top of the society? Right. If they're punished for their iniquities, like God said they should be that he would deal with the Israelites, right? That's how you know that we're his chosen people. We're on the bottom of society because we continuously break his commandments, right? The only nation that is. That verse, that verse four. In Hebrews 12 and six. So yeah, like they say, like, right? Like, like they say in Spider-Man, right? Like Uncle Ben said. With great power comes great responsibility, right? We've been given the greatest power on the planet Earth, which is the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God, right? The power to rule the world at, on a whim, right? All we need to do is just turn to the Lord. All we need to do is go back to the Heavenly Father, right? Like we're supposed to be. All we got to do is come back home. Hebrews, Hebrews 12 and 6, bring it out. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 6. For, for whom the Lord loveth, he chastised and search and scourges every son whom he received. So the Most High God deals with us. Most High God deals with us like, like a father deals with his child, right? He, he beats us because he loves us. He lets us go through things because he loves us. He let he he's gonna let you uh, let you uh, live on the streets because you work you work uh, uh, your nine to five. You work all all damn day, all damn night, right? Uh, to get to basically get high on weed, right? To blow all your money on this BS that doesn't really matter, right? Now you're homeless on the streets. You need, to, you need to make a way. But all this is because the Most High God told you, hey, don't do that, man. You're not supposed to be uh, uh, indulging in witchcraft, bro. That weed is witchcraft. That's, in ancient times, the, uh, the, the, the Chinese man would use it in, uh, in his, uh, his religious practices, his, uh, his Buddha worship and stuff like that. Various nations would use it in, in, as a way to, uh, to invite demons in and communicate with the dead, right? The Bible speaks vehemently against that, all right? If ye endure chastising, he's sloppy. If ye endure chastising, God dwelleth with you as with sons, for what son is, for what son is he who the father chastised not? So as you can see, we're still standing, right? We survived the ails of slavery, right? There's still there's still black, Hispanic, and Native Americans thriving here. It, this is a, this is pretty busy, right? 
a pretty busy street. You see all these cars, all these, all these uh, beautiful black Hispanic. That's right. Native American faces, mostly black faces, you know. But it's what it is. And you see that you see that we're still we're still standing, right? Slavery hasn't beaten us down. We're not destroyed as a nation. So what does that mean? The Most High God deals with us as sons, right? Y'all are Israelites according to the Bible, all right? I want that. I want y'all to know that, man. Y'all the greatest people on this planet Earth. Don't let nobody else tell you different. Bring, bring seven out. Hebrews chapter twelve, verse seven. If we endure chastising, God dwelleth with you as with sons. For what son is he who the Father chastises not? For what son is he who the Father chastises not? Right. So everybody ain't God's chosen people, right? The Christian church lied to y'all. Everybody isn't a child of God, right? Just because you brought your white friend to church, to the black church one day, and the and the pastor called y'all children of God, doesn't mean that he's a child of God. He, he ain't talking to him. And that, that scripture ain't meant for him, right? It's only meant for the Israelites, man. God's chosen people. Only the Israelites have the breakdown of the Bible, right? Matter of fact, was it on that? Yeah. Uh, get, get Deuteronomy, uh, I think it's 29 and 30, where it talks about uh, uh, his secret things he reveals to his people. Yeah, 29, 29, go ahead. Deuteronomy. Chapter 29, verse 29. The secret things belong to unto the Slaki. The secret things belong unto the Lord our God. But those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever. That we may do all the words in this law. So the Messiah has things that he kept secret, right? Like like the end like the end times, right? But everything that he doesn't keep secret, everything that he reveals is in that Bible. That's sitting on your table, right? That's collecting dust, right? Every everything, every wisdom, every knowledge, e any understanding, he's given to the Israelites to understand, right? Only the Israelites are able to understand the Bible. Okay? That's point blank period. The white man doesn't have the breakdown. Stop, stop going to a uh, damn James White YouTube channel to try to understand the secrets of life, man. Stop going to these, uh, these Christian churches, which are based off uh, slave plantation Christianity, right? And start, start picking up that Bible and reading it for yourself, man. It'll be good for you, man. It's like eating your vegetables. Like Easily you'll start to understand life better if you pick up that Bible. Psalms 147 verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. He shows his word to Jacob, the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. His statutes and, and his judgment unto Israel. His statutes and his judgments were only to Israel, right? He only he only gave his uh, law as commandments to Israel. Go ahead. He has not dealt so with any nation. He hasn't dealt so with any other nation. No other nation has the wisdom that we have if we open up this Bible. No other nation definitely doesn't have the flavor that we got, right? From the food down to the actual people. Right? Everybody in the world follows the Judite man, the black man, right? And then and then the rest of the Israelites come directly after that. Right? We're we we are the salt of the earth as who the world knows as Christ said. Right? The white man isn't the salt of the earth, man. He doesn't even put salt on his chicken. How how is he the salt of the earth? Plain chicken. Right. 
Ask it. Bring, bring 20 in. Psalms 147, chapter, Psalms 147, verse 20. He have not dealt so with, dealt so with any nation as far as his judgment. They have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. So they have, the other nations have no idea of the power of the Most High, man. They have no idea of the, of the, of the breakdowns of the Bible. They have no idea what it's talking about, man. The only people you're going to hear from uh, correctly are these men on the streets teaching you the Bible. That's right! Alright, every, every, uh, every Hebrew Israelite you see on these streets, they, they giving you the breakdown. Trust me, they love their people, man. No matter how harsh they may seem, all right. Take heed and and uh, and follow these commandments. Repent from your wicked ways, right? Follow these commandments. Stop getting damn abortions, all right. Come, but with that, I'm going to say shalom. All right. Stop this and restart it again. Because it'll probably be easier, you know what I'm saying, for you to upload in that way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And trying to find.